Stop yelling at f***ing people from my f***ing you fools. Get out of the f***ing one of your f***ing self, holy sh**, man. Alrighty, what is going on, everybody? We are doing another console coaching episode. Today, we're going to be doing a Reina of Otter view of an Ascendant Reina on Ascent. Uh, yeah, so uh, as we've already previously disclosed, the ranks on console aren't really the ranks they are. So even though our boy today is Ascendant, he's not really Ascendant. And I feel like some things may make me a little frustrated because the previous VODs I've watched, there's just... There's been a few mistakes that's just like, bro, how? But without further ado, we're going to get into it. We are on pistol round. So the first thing I got to do is open up my dang. Open up my dang thing. Hold on. All right, there we go. So first and foremost, we are going to talk about pistol round, right? So, uh, now, pistol rounds, you kind of just want to five stack and just shove a sight, man. You really don't want to be split pushing, um, especially on a map like Ascent, uh, because you're going to take all this time clearing this, and by the time these guys make any bit of noise, these guys are rotating, right? So we just want to just, we want to play fast here. They don't have any Sentinels, right? So if they don't have any Sentinels, there's no reason to really slow, slow push. Um, we know that they can't really play the that long game very well compared to comps that do have Sentinels like ours. So they're going to want to take a little, probably a little bit more aggressive fights. Um, so we should have that in mind. But yeah. So as a duelist here, I'm either using my utility or I'm asking for a utility um, to get through this uh, first little choke. And then from there, um, we can start using more utility, ask for smokes, maybe things like that. Um, I definitely would prefer you to either buy a gun or armor or like, it's like you need to buy something. Going straight classic on a pistol round as a duelist when you want to carry, like that's a, that's a throw in my opinion. And we're dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next round, I guess. All right. So it's it's O2, right? We've lost pistol. We've lost their bonus. Now we we lost their buy round. Now they're on their bonus round. If we're gonna be buying guns here, we should be buying a gun with full armor. Um. So think about it this way. Um. If we didn't eliminate everybody on the enemy team, they're still going to have SMGs, right? Which means that they're not going to one tap you, right? So you need full armor. Because if you buy light armor, you're that much easier to eliminate than somebody that has full armor, right? So we definitely need to be buying... If the enemy team still has SMGs, we need to be buying full armor. So too much talking about random stuff. You really need to, be, to lock in. So, look at your team. Right? Look at you as a duelist. As a duelist, your job is to entry. Your job is to take fights, take space. What are you doing? You're doing none of those things, right? No bueno. Come on, Mr. Ascendant player. Bro, I gotta quit spraying! Ah! Um, so, my advice to you in that scenario. We'll, we'll pause it when need be. So, right there, the second you crouch, you are committing to the fight. Right? Which, I mean, you kind of have to. You're in the open. But, a thing about Valorant is, it's not only about just hitting your shots, but it's also about being hard to hit. Right? So, instead of crouching here, why not just strafe? Right? Strafe, burst. Strafe, burst. Right? And, like, it gives, it makes you more elusive as well as it gives you an opportunity to use your aim, uh, your movement to aim and things like that. But the second this guy swings and he has the peeker's advantage on you because your crosshair placement was already uh, got changed, right? He he has this advantage. Granted, y'all both sucked enough to have to like end up on a full spray, but like you crouching compared to him standing up, you're committed. When he's not, he still can use his movement, right? As well as let's think about it this way: if this is the enemy and this is you, right? And he's bad, and he shoots at your body. By you ducking, you now get headshotted, right? So, against lower elo players, I like yes, crouching is good when you want to commit to a fight, but you get punished more for crouching in low elo due to to high elo because high elo everybody's aiming head level uh, for the most part, and they're gonna they're aiming for your head. Um, and if you duck, you might you might duck under it, right? So yeah. All right, so we've yet to like really make a plan of what we're gonna do. We might have just. Do we just kind of huddle to, to places together? We don't really do anything. So, like, you see how the Reina's popping her flash and she's walking in there? 
where where's your Utah? Where's your team Utah? Where where is anybody asking for anything? Like this is really bad that no one's using anything. Like there's no utils coming out, dude. Like as a high elo player, quotation marks, you need to be using your util, right? You don't need to save your flashes for guaranteed fights all the time. Use one flash to give you space. Ask for a gecko flash. He can pick it back up. Ask for an omen flash, something. But if you're taking this fight and you're getting flashed every time, you're going to lose. So once again, we're not paying attention. We're kind of just dilly-dallying, walking wherever the hell we want. Look at your team. Uh, look. They're going A. Where are you? Where's your brain at, dude? Like, why is it off? Why is it off? And then you're rotating to get with your team, and then you just stop. I would prefer you be late, right? And then just tell your team, hey, don't reveal yourself. Wait till I get there. So the enemy has to one to wonder, right, about where you're at. Compared to you pop your ult, you look mid, and now you're lurking again. The same scenario as last time. We're not even going to fucking watch this round, man, because I don't care if you do good or bad this round. Whatever you do is shouldn't be done because you're lurking on a duelist. So we're skipping. All right, so we, we calm to go B. We calm to be silent, which I don't think makes a difference if we're not using util. So this this that close smoke from the enemy, I'm assuming that's the enemy, is bad um, due to the fact that yeah, it is the enemies. She's, like, denying herself information. And then you ask for an omen smoke, which I think is a good idea because it kind of gives the enemies like a false sense of, oh, shoot, they're going to go A. So that happens. And then Rain is just not ready for that fight. She might assume that you guys have gotten through mid, which means that there may or may not be somebody market. There is. It's trade. You guys have the advantage. So now we need to move. We've gotten two picks on B, right? And if we think about how people hold this objective, it'll probably be like 2-1-2, two, two, right? So if we've gotten a pick in market and a pick on site, there's a possibility that there's still somebody site or somebody's like playing back here, right? Things like that. Um, but yeah, so there, there might be one more person there. So I'd be careful. I'd definitely still use Yuto to come out here. There's no need to, like, always count down your flashes. When you pull it out, your team has the understanding you're going to flash, especially if they're looking at you. When you throw it, there's still a second delay that it's going to go off. Like, you don't need to always count it down. Like, it's different if you're, like, playing a character like KO where you need a lot of prep. Or, like, it needs to hit at a certain time. But, like, a rain of flash, just like, I am flashing. Go. We throw your flash and say, go. Like, you don't, you don't need to count down. You're wasting time. Plus, it lasts a long time. It's not like a flash that just pops and it's gone. Like, it sits there, it opens for a couple of seconds, and then it closes. Like, it's, a, it's plenty of time. Well, you guys get this dub. I like the creativity. I like the fake, I guess you could call it. Um, but, yeah, we're still playing a little too slow, even when we get picks. All right, so we know Sky's not there. Random flash comes through wall, so we know the one's on site. Okay. All right, you should be able to entry now. Wait, from mid, from mid, from mid, from mid. No one's market. We're just tucked. Get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. Oh my God, one shot, dude. I just whiffed. No, you have to do it from where you were. Right on site, right on site, right on site. On Stop yelling at fucking people. Oh my fucking you. Get out of the fucking corner, your fucking self. Holy shit, man. Let me get another fucking keyboard. Yo, I got my I got my other keyboard. We're all plugged in. Um, I I think we're done with offense. I think well, I think I want to go watch defense now. I don't want to watch any more of this. This is atrocious gameplay. Ah, all right, defense time. All right, so we're on defense now. I would buy a gun and I'd buy a flash. So the likeliness of somebody like pushing through mid um, round one is like highly unlikely. They're either gonna like five stacks uh, through B main or A main, 
So, in my opinion, I'm... In my opinion, I'm just gonna play one of the mains. One's right here. One's right here, Tuck. Do you have flash? Do you have flash or no? Throw it. Bates, one shot. Definitely, I feel like if you had your flash and a, and a, and a gun, you probably win those fights there. Just uh, you have to rely on your teammates there instead of having your own flash and your own, you know, and a gun that would allow you to win that fight easier. Zach's. I just feel like you buy that gun, you buy that flash, you don't die there, you get picks. Like, hey. All right. So not only did your your jet buy a sniper, an outlaw to be specific, um, which I, which isn't too bad. Snipers are good on jet. Um, but you bought a a marshal as well. So you guys are gonna like double peak. With snipers um on in a round where the enemy's on an eco which means that they're gonna have their smokes right they're gonna have like you know the pistols right y'all are just gonna get smoked out if they if they so if they so choose to push mid y'all are just getting smoked and what do you do against what do you do against that and not even they they might not even just go mid they might just smoke smoke market smoke here and they might just rush b and what do you do against that if they smoke you properly Nothing. You can, what are you gonna do? Flash That's out of the smoke? Yeah. You have three. You have three mid. Oh my god. Somebody. Somebody do something else. Hard B. I'm rotating. They're in. Like that. Like that's a bad smoke, and that's why you have you have a good angle here. Still whiff. I'm scared. You hit ISO shield, and you lose that fight. Markets one shot. One thirty. But like you see how like your teammates with actual guns like get the frags and do the work like that could have been you that could have easily been you right and the the better you perform I, I hope you know that as well that also helps with ranking up so you want to perform well um and the fact that you got nothing because you decided to go on marshall when you didn't need to go on marshall yeah, I didn't even steal. is beyond me oh, wow. characters that are good with snipers jet viper uh kj and who else? I would say that's pretty much. I'd say that these are just, uh, I guess, chamber, right? Because these characters can take a shot and get away, or they have utility that will do damage to the enemy that will make the sniper shots more lethal. So keep that in mind when you play. Uh, when you play, uh, you want to play sniper. I guess I just gotcha, I gotcha. I'll flash you. I'll even don't even buddy. I'll flash through the wall. Why doesn't he flash for you? Your character is the one that's meant to fight. You have an escape ability. He could sit right here, throw his his uh dizzy through the window while you fight. Like why? Like you can jiggle, right? Jiggle, 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 jiggle. He's he you you see someone. He sees it on the mini map. Throws his flash through the window, and then you make a play off of it, right? Like why? Why are you flashing? You're the Reyna. Right. I, I'm confused. Three, two, one, go. No way. He mid. Not buddy through this door. Three, two, one. You should like learn the difference between the different util. You're saying buddies, like, but what? But which one, right? Dizzy. You could just say flash. You could just say flash. Dizzy's the flash. Mosh is a Molly. And then wingman, or wing, is basically uh, a dog, right? Flash, Molly, dog. Or whatever, no whatever you want to say, Roomba. I don't care. I don't care. But these, it's what they're called. You know, Dizzy's a flash. So why are you calling it, buddy? Just say, fl can you flash for me? Can you molly for me? Can you dog for me? Like it's just, I don't know. I like the push ISO, though. ISO, the push works ISO, out. ISO. Good shit. I mean, if that's not teamwork, I don't know what is. It only took you, only took you fourteen fucking rounds. Oh if that's it, not teamwork, then what it, is, it, motherfucker? I don't think you know what teamwork maybe, is. Okay. So, we're about to clear this angle, right? A quick tip for you. I don't know if you, if you know, but there's a railing here, right? And with this railing, you can actually jump on the railing, and it'll lift you up high enough to where you can kind of head glitch this box, peeking into, like, you know, spawn or here, right? So, definitely take advantage of that. That's something that I do all the freaking time. <laughs> I was watching that. And, and also, right, there's a term. What you're doing right now is called cheating. Right? This is what the term is called. It's called cheating. And the reason it's calling that is because you're aiming through the wall like if you know where they're at. Uh, we want to be aiming where they could be. Because look at your crosshair placement. There's no way you kill this guy. 
there's app you, you lose this fight unless you're the best player in the world and this guy is the worst you're not getting this man so don't cheat play honest right there could be a guy around this corner all right and in and, and that last round nothing really happened so we're gonna just talk about what you could do better so here's a quick little flashbang bang all right, so my notes for you for this game is going to be be a duelist, right? I want you to entry for your team, take smart fights, and create much needed space. Um, Pre-round planning, got to have a plan um, before the round starts, man. Uh, if you're on attack and you guys aren't on the same page, that's unexcusable. It's just that's one easy way to just win more attack rounds um, because defense is a little bit more reactionary. Yes, you can be proactive, and there will be situations where you can make plans for that. Um, but yeah, and then also economy, obviously economy is such a broad thing, but, uh, I really want you to understand how economy can affect how a plan, uh, a round will play out. Right. And what I mean by that is, for example, if we know they don't have guns, they're not going to fight for long range map control. And if they are, they're going to smoke you out. So if you understand that they probably won't fight for this long space, but if they do, they'll smoke me out. So how do I need to play? What gun do I need to have? To make sure that in this situation, I'm prepared for what is to come, right? And that'll help you win more too because it'll get you out of situations where you you have a sniper and you have to fight close range. And it's just not efficient, right? Um, but yeah, last thing, stop fucking yelling at your teammates if you're absolutely doing fucking nothing. That pissed me the fuck off. I digress. Um, but to anybody else who wants coaching, I do coaching for free. Um, if you're interested, don't be afraid to comment down below so that we can get into contact, whether through through Discord or anything else. Uh, but with that being said, hopefully you have a great morning, day, afternoon, night, wherever you may be. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.